Namaskar, Sanakam, Sashrikal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali and today we're going to be reacting to um, Sad Guru, which is Young Mother Asks a Brilliant Question. Yes. We did one other Sad Guru's uh, talks about Lord Krishna. Yes. And, um, but there's been a lot of requests on the list for him, so, um, and this was one of them, so we're going to watch it and be enlightened so yes. start it up good evening um thank you for giving me the last question uh you said something that uh, is very interesting when you said that um, it's our responsibility to uh, make the generation after us a bit better. And me, for me, as a young mother, it's quite a concern. And I would like to ask you, Sadhguru, if you have three tips to give me as a mom on how to protect my children from disconnections of themselves mm. while Good living question. in this society, what would it be? Would you give us your name, please? Introduce my name yourself. is Marie. Thank you. Thank you. Marie, the three tips are Involvement and involvement and deeper involvement. Wow. <laughs> because and it never stops. <laughs> it never stops. No, if they do well, it stops. Oh, oh really? If really? They, we have uh, to let go? Really? <laughs> Whether you let go or if you let go, it will happen in a beautiful way. If you don't let go, they will escape. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is, if you brought them up well. If you brought them up in a helpless manner, mm -hmm. They will stay with you, wingless birds, <laughs> all right? <laughs> wingless birds have happened in some very extreme climates. So if your birds at home are wingless, mm. that means you have an extreme climate. Smothering a little That's what it means. Much. Now, <clears throat> when I say involvement, 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 you must understand this. This idea, you know, this is something that's in common usage, that I was brought up this way, I was brought up that way or I was raised <laughs> this way. I thought we only raise cattle. <laughs> Human beings need not be raised. People say, I was raised Hindu, I was raised Christian, I was raised this. Nobody should be raised anyway because when it comes to creation the way it is, for all the other creatures, nature has drawn two lines. Be, be, within that, they live and die. When it comes to a human being, nature has drawn, drawn only one line, baseline, no top line. So the important thing is you should never raise them. Your business is just to create a loving, supportive atmosphere. Oh, suppose they become something which is not like me. <laughs> if they become like you, that's a crime. <laughs> they should become something that you could not imagine that's as true. a generation, isn't it? What should your children become? They should not become what you desire. They should become what you could not imagine. So do you have the courage to raise something that you cannot imagine? First of all, you need to un understand, your children are not yours. Mm. You don't own the life. Mm. It's a privilege. They came through you, enjoyed. you enjoyed all that. You laughed with them, you cried with them, you played with them, you enjoyed all that. But they don't belong to you. They only come through you. Mm. Just enjoy the privilege that they are with you now. And that's about it. You don't try to raise them. You just… your business as a mother is to create, protect them against a few things which, you call, mm. which can cause damage to them because you are not the only influence, yeah. there's a world not influencing them. It's outside. And for a modern mother, because I have to tell you this because uh, internet is a bigger influence than mother or father or anybody for that matter. I know this may look like an archaic opinion, but you will regret this in future if you don't do this now. At least till they are twelve to fourteen years of age, 
there is no need for these things, mm. these gadgets. They must learn to use this gadget. Mm. This is… <laughs> this is the most sophisticated technology on this planet. This human mechanism, isn't this the highest level of technology in the universe that we know? There may be some alien who is better than us but we have not seen. But among what we have seen, this is the highest level of technology, isn't it? The only problem with human beings is they have not even bothered to read the user's <laughs> manual. It doesn't have a user's now, manual. Now what internet means is, what your school means is, the present level of schooling, what it means is cram yourself with all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. You pay attention to everything, you know what is inside a frog, how a frog's liver looks. What are you going to do with this? <laughs> I'm saying every high school child is cutting open a cockroach and a frog, what for? I'm, I'm saying when you bring up children with this level of cruelty, a live frog, you open it up and enjoy his heart beating. What are you made of, I'm asking? You call this science? I call this inhumanity. I call this absolutely senseless way of raising your children. Oh no, we learned so much. If they've learned so much, that is enough. Show it on a computer, how a heart beats. Where is the need for everybody to open up a live animal nailed to a piece of wood? Almost all of you have done it, right? It was traumatic. Yeah, I was traumatized. No, I'm saying we call this education, yeah, a okay. heartless education. Mm. What is the point of a heartless education? If you do this kind of education, you will ha you will create a heartless society, which you're seeing in so many different ways. True. We are training children to become brutes. See, if I can nail a frog to this wooden platform, cut him open when he's still alive and screaming and look at his heart and how it beats, I enjoy it and I fiddle around with his liver. I'm saying, at mm. another level, why can't I pick one of you and do the same thing? Mm. Only because there is a law, I may be stopping, isn't it? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. That's what it amounts to, isn't it so? Yeah. Only because there is a law against it, I may be stopping. A law cannot make us human beings. A law can control a few things in the society. This will not shape human consciousness. Because human beings experience themselves in a certain way, we thought of bringing that in the form of law. But law will not make a human being. If you are human, you will naturally be in a certain way. This must come forth. If you want to bring up your children, if they are still below five, six years of age now, the best thing to do is not expose them to all these things, expose them to life. When I say life, there is nature, there is insect, there is animal, there is worm. I'm telling you, these creatures are far more important than you. Tomorrow, if all the insects disappear, you have… the entire life on this planet will cease to exist in about four to five years' time. Do you know this? If all the worms disappear, the entire life on this planet will cease to exist in approximately eighteen months to twenty-four months. When somebody calls you a worm, you must understand they're saying you're a very important life <laughs> <laughs> But if all the human beings disappear tomorrow morning, this world will flourish. So we must understand we are not the only life. We are here as a product of all this life evolving to this place. We must at least show some sign of evolution, isn't it? Mm. We are supposed to be the peak of evolution on this planet. Should we not show that we are little better than them? Right. But we are not showing this mm. simply because we are screwed up with our scriptures, our textbooks, our teachings. No, please expose them to life child will understand life perfectly well. They are better equipped to perceive life than you are because they are not structured in their head. They perceive life. Oh, what will happen to them? How will they earn a living? If you allow a child to develop his body and his brain to the fullest, there are ways to do it, I can't go elaborate on this now.
But there are ways where we can ensure the human body and the human brain has grown to its full size in every way. If you have a full-grown body and full-grown brain, they will know how to deal with anything for that matter. Half-grown brain but you're highly educated, what is the point? You don't know how to live. You may know how to extract something from the world, but you don't know how to live. Isn't that the fate of humanity right now, unfortunately? Mm. They know how to extract something mm. from everything. I want you to know they're extracting protein from microscopic bacteria, but still human beings are not healthy. <laughs> so we know how to extract, but we don't know how to live because we are paying attention to everything. We are not paying attention to this. This needs attention, not in the mirror, not through somebody else, but inwardly, beyond this body, beyond this mind, to know what is the nature of my existence. The more you know about this, the better you can handle it, yes or no? Yes, How far is it? What do I have to do for this? Mm -hmm. True. How far it is? Should I book a Himalayan cave for myself <laughs> or my child? It's gone already. <laughs> it's already it's gone, gone, taken. Yes. It's taken, no accommodation. It's taken. It's like this. Someone came looking for Isha Yoga Center in southern India. They came to a local village and asked a boy who was sitting there, how far is Isha Yoga Center? The boy said it's twenty-four thousand nine hundred and ninety-six miles. I said, what that for? He said, yeah, the way you're going, <laughs> if you turn around, it's four miles. <laughs> <laughs> we have to turn around, in is the only way out. <laughs>
I don't know, an ease with people because they don't observe people there. Book. It's, it mm, is. Yeah. I mean, he really had a lot of really good uh, wisdom to say, you know, like, turn the TV off. Let the kids go play outside. I mean, that's yeah. how it used to be. You'd go outside. There was no TV, and you'd go out with a stick and a ball and or your friends, you know, and ride your bike and until the sun came down. And nowadays... Until you lost your ball. Yeah, or until you lost the ball. <laughs> Nowadays, you kind of can't always do that. The society is not uh, always perfect, but, you know, they really do need to get back outside more and turn the TV off more and play in the dirt, play in the dirt more. And like he said, not they're your children, but don't smother them. Protect them from evils outside. You know, there are some things you need to protect them from, but let them... Figure, it out figure some things out on their own, you know. Nobody wants to see their kids get hurt, but sometimes you need to fall and get back up and try again to, you know, get better at it. And so yeah. you kind of need to find that fine line and balance, you know. Mm -hmm. It is a different age, you know, with, you know, technology, the way it's going. And I don't think all of it is bad, but the amounts of it is what we have to watch yeah. out for, I think, so... Sadhguru so seems pretty wise in his speeches. Yes. So, hope you like this. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below because the more you like, the more YouTube shares our videos. Yep. And don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.